Alright, hey YouTube, what's up? This is Electro Attack Snacks. Um, I've got another really small tutorial for you guys. Um, this does involve open broadcast software. Um, if you have not gotten this yet or you have not seen my previous video on how to set it up, uh, go check that out. I do want to make an updated one sometime, but uh, let me know if it's worth it or not because I don't know if you know if it is or isn't. So, um, let's get right into it. Um, so basically what you're gonna do, uh, obviously you're gonna start by opening up uh, open broadcast software, OBS. Um, now, I don't know how you guys um, capture, tell people what uh, music's playing or whatever on your thing. Some people I've seen when they use Spotify, they'll capture this, like they'll make a area screen region capture and capture that. And then when you change it, it'll change also. Now, the, I mean, that's kind of nice if you got a HD stream and you got multiple monitors and you just kind of want something nice looking there. But what's also really good looking and very much easier to use is an updated notepad, really. So basically what happens is you get this program. It's really small, like, program. You don't even install it. It's just It just runs called Snip. I'll have a link to it in the description that way you guys don't have to go and look for it because I actually found it on a forum page and I, some dude like developed it whatever I think it was like a home project or something he did so um it's, I, I don't even think it's out there but I'll have a link to it nonetheless so what you do is you download this you extract it I think it's in a I'm pretty sure it's in a zip file you extract it and what you're gonna have is you're gonna have all these files now i'm not sure i don't imagine the license and readme are important it's probably just telling you you know what kind of licensing you're allowed to use and readme is you know info about it um now the snip blank i don't know either i don't yeah <laughs> all right so when you got spotify open and obs open and then you have snip downloaded you're gonna download snip and run it now nothing's gonna pop up, but oh whoops, my bad. It will pop up in your tray icons. Now it'll now when you play a song or whatever on um, Spotify, it'll update it. So if I sit here and play this, see that up here? That updates it. Okay, and then when you stop it, no track playing. Okay. So now in OBS what you do is you go to add you go to text, um, name it whatever you want. I'll just do song two, even though it's the same thing. Choose the font you want, font size. Um, what I do, so that way it po shows up on like everything really good. I do. I did a blue font just because I like the color blue, and then a background. I put a really low opacity black background on it, so that way it's you know it's like a faded black in the behind the text. That way it can show up on. You know, like uh, white things if you want to use white text or, uh, you know, other light colored things. Because if you're using white text and you go to play a game, there's a big white background or whatever. If you have this black background on it, then people will be able to see it better, you know. So, common sense. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, outline, you can put an outline on it if you want. Bold. Now, what you're going to want to do from here. You're not going to enter text. You're going to click on use text from file. UTF A or compatible. Compatible will be text files. Now you navigate to where you, wherever you decided to put snip. I put mine on my desktop because I use it every time I stream. So you navigate to that folder and make, again, make sure snip is running. Once it's running and you got your track playing and you added the text scene in OBS. You're going to choose this, and this is what updates the thing. So, I'm pretty sure if I sit here and I press play, and I hover over that, yep. Now, oh. yeah, see? It'll even update here, so you can see, you know, what it's doing. But, that shows you. It updates it every time you change the song. You click that, update, okay. Now that's right there. And now you can, uh... Well, I think that uh, kind of went vertical by accident. But, um, yeah, let me uh, change the properties for that really quick. But you get the basic idea. 
color will do white. Alright, yeah, see, there you go. I don't know why it went horizontal like that. It's just not supposed to do that. But, mine over here is like that. Um, again, it's probably a properties thing. Yes, no, I don't know. But, um, you know, that's how you do it. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. And, see, there you go. Um, check back next time for a uh, new video of some sort. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. See you later.